Hey y'all, welcome to Ashley Southern Charm. I'm Ashley. I hope you enjoy this video and will consider joining my YouTube family by subscribing to my channel. Today's video is going to be a comparison between Louis Vuitton and Dooney and Burke, what my thoughts are, and if it's worth the money for the increase in pay to reach that luxury status. So I will start with the Dooney and Burke. I started buying Dooney and Burke probably 20 years ago. Um, Louis Vuitton, I only started buying maybe nine years ago. So I've got more experience with contemporary brands versus luxury. And as far as luxury specifically goes, Louis Vuitton is all I own. I don't own Chanel or Yves Saint Laurent, Prada, any of that. Um, so I know Dooney and Burke. I know Dooney and Burke like the back of my hand. Now, do I think Dooney and Burke or really Michael Kors, any of those brands for that matter, is any less quality than specifically Louis Vuitton, not the other brands, because like I said, I don't, don't know anything about them. I do not. I do not think that you get anything better as far as quality goes. I'm talking about the zippers, the materials that they use, the leather used, any of that in comparison to these contemporary brands. I don't. Um, the other Louis Vuitton bag that I have actually tore up and I've never had another bag do that before. Now, this isn't a video to bash Louis Vuitton. I fell in love with the brand when I was 19, like a lot of people. 2003, 2004, watching Jessica Simpson on Newlyweds. I saw her carrying her um, Speedy and I said, I want that back. I will have it one day. So I'm not knocking it. I love my Louis Vuitton pieces. I really do. This is just my thought on whether you get anything extra from spending the extra money other than the status of carrying what people deem to be a luxury brand. I'm sorry. I hope that this isn't going to offend anyone, but I just think that you can spend a portion of your funds and get just as good of a bag, whether it's Michael Kors or Junie and Burke or Coach, um, which Coach has really the last few years done a lot as far as revamp revamping their brand and um kind of going back to their roots of luxury. But I've never had any sort of issues with my Dooney and Burke products as far as quality goes. I've never had any issues with um, anything, really. And like I said, on my Louis Vuitton Speedy, I should have brought it to show you. I'm sorry, I didn't think about it until just now. Um, I just brought this one because this is my, my most recent purchase. The handles on my Speedy, the stitches or the sewing, um, you've got the glazing and then the stitches. I can show you on this one. The glazing, the clear coating peeled off. Okay. And then the, the uh, stitching right here on the handles has come apart and you can kind of peel back and see into the strap. And that happened on both of them. I've never had that happen on any of my contemporary brand bags before. So anyways, just my two cents. Is it worth spending the extra money to have the brand, the luxury brand on your arm? My opinion is no, it's not. You do you. This isn't to tell anybody, yes, you do this or no, you don't do this. This is just my opinion. Just putting my little two cents out there. Overall, no, I don't. The only extra things I can come up with that you get is the actual experience in the store. I mean, you're not going to get that sort of treatment. If you go into a Dooney and Burke or a Michael Kors, um, <clears throat> and, and those of you that have been in a Louis Vuitton know what I'm talking about, they bring you the champagne or the water or whatever it is you want to drink. Um, you get the extras, the dust covers, the box, the wrapping, all of that. You don't get that. 
I still don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't. Not to say that I'll never make another Louis Vuitton purchase. I probably will. But if I just take a step back and really think about it, is it worth it? No. Do you get a superior product? No. And that's what I think. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.